Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Casual Style Talking About History. Today, we're going to talk about rank of imperial consort in Qing Dynasty. I know that other video might want to start from the bottom to the top, but because I like top position, so I will start from the top to the bottom. To give you some introduction, after the emperor ascended the throne, the empress dowager or the board of revenue department will start concubine selection process to fill his harem. This selection happens every three years. Not every girl can participate. Only the daughters of eight banners or the daughter of high-ranking official can participate this competition. Most concubines were from Mongolia or Manchuria, but it was not rare to see Han consort because emperor can pick anyone in a palace, right? Including any palace maid that serve him, so he can get anybody he wants. Okay, let's look. Let's take a look at this picture. You will see that there are eight ranks of imperial consort. The first one is empress, or in Chinese, Hong Hao. We can have only one empress at a time. Empress. She is the emperor official wife, only one in the harem. All females in Forbidden Palace were under her control. She is the only wife who can have portrait draw with the emperor. Her offspring we call Di Su or legitimate heirs. She is allowed to dress in yellow gown, which is the color of the emperor, as you see in the pictures. Imperial custom required that the emperor spend at least one day a month with the empress. So at least if she fell out from his favor, she can still see the guy. She is considered the legal mother of all prince and princess, regardless of their birth mother. If stepson ascended the throne. She will get promoted to empress dowager positions. The stepson can also promote his birth mother to empress dowager rank, but the empress dowager who was empress in previous land had higher status. If you look in the second picture, you will see that this is the empress seal that made from two kilogram of gold. Hong Hao can has fifteen eunuchs. And four staff from imperial household department, including one head eunuch. She also had thirty banner men to serve her, and she has two official guards follow her every place that she go. Let's talk about her income. Her income is about eighty thousand U.S. dollar a year. You might think that only eighty thousand. Oh my God! Why is so less? She is empress. But eighty thousand back then is a lot. Think about eighty thousand two hundred years ago. How much can it be? So she actually can use a lot of money. Okay. Next, moving on to second rank is imperial noble consort or Hu Guifei. This is the rank that neck to neck to the empress. Only one can have this rank in the imperial harem at a given time. It is a special title given in rare occasion. It usually given when empress was not able to manage the harem, or empress position was vacant, and emperor want to promote his favorite concubine to be future empress, or have her have authority to manage the harem. Sometimes the emperor gave this title to his beloved consort who passed away, or who is on a dead bed just to honor her or make her happy before she die. This rank can also wear yellow dragon gown as the empress. She has two guards follow her, with eighteen eunuchs cleaning her palace and forty-one thousand U.S. dollar as the annual income. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Okay, in this picture that you see is imperial noble consort gown. She another she a long emperor noble consort. She was ill in seventeen forty five, and she a long emperor promote her to Hua Guifei position two days before she passed away. Oh, so sad. And she doesn't have any children. The third rank is noble consort, or in Chinese we call Guifei. Only two in the imperial harem can be given this position. Guifei can has ten eunuchs, 
and her annual income is twenty four thousand a year. And if you watch Empress in the Palace TV series, one of the main character is noble consort Nian on Nian Guifei. Nian Guifei is one of favorite concubines of Yongzheng Emperor. She married Yongzheng Emperor when he was still a prince. She came from a very powerful family. Her father was a duke. Her eldest brother was famous doctor, and her brother Nian Gen Yao is a big, 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 super big general who was backing up Yongzheng Emperor to seize the throne. So Nian Guifei is so powerful and pretty. So she came from a very powerful family, but she died after the second year that Yongzheng Emperor ascended the throne. So it's kind of sad story. The fourth rank is consort or fei. Only four fei can be given this title in imperial harem at one time. She can has one guard, seven eunuchs, and sixteen thousand dollar annual income. We talk about consort Nian earlier on Nian Gui Fei, so I need to mention Li Fei, who was Li Fujin. So both Li Fei and Nian Fei bore Yongzheng Emperor three sons, but Yongzheng Emperor favored Nian Fujin much more. So she promoted her to Gui Fei after he ascended the throne, and he made Li Fujin, who was his concubine, to Li Fei. If you look in this picture. We gonna talk more about Li Fei. Li Fei had one daughter and three sons, and Li Fei never get promoted to higher rank. She remained Li Fei to the rest of her life, even after she passed away. All right, the fifth rank is imperial concubine, or in Chinese we call pin. Only six pin in imperial harem at a time. Pin can has one guard. Five eunuchs, and her annual income is thirteen thousand U.S. dollars. Pin is the rank that allow her to be master of her palace. Any concubine below Pin can't live in the main hall. They need to live in the side hall only. They are also under control of mistress of the main hall. Pin and the birth rank has their own promotion ceremony. Their name will be recorded in clan books, and we can consider them as a high rank consort. The emperor edict was also given in high quality cell with gold seal, jade book, sedan, official court attire to those rank, including Pin and above. The sixth rank is Guilan. Guilan, you can have unlimited number in imperial harem at a time. I consider Guilan rank as a mid tier concubine because she can have three units, and her annual un and her annual income was eight thousand a year. During concubine selection process, you can be given this title if you come from powerful family or you are the most prettiest one in the batch. The seventh rank is Chang Jai or first class female attendant. This is another low rank concubine that the emperor can have at unlimited numbers. For this Chang Jai position, only two eunuch were given to her. These are low class concubine, like I said before. They have no right to use a sedan unless given by the emperor. They cannot use phoenix hairpin or any accessory contain phoenix. For Chang Jai, they have about fifteen thousand dollar annual income. And the last rank for today, which is the lowest rank, is second class female attendants, or in Chinese we call da ying. Also, we can have unlimited numbers in the harem, and only one eunuch was given to her. They are low caste concubine. They have no right to use sedan unless given by the emperor. Also, they cannot use phoenix hairpin or any accessory with phoenix. All right, so I think we are we done with the ranks of imperial consort in Qing Dynasty. If you have any question or any comment, just put below. Thank you for listening and bye bye.